I'm David Toman, author of NootropicsExpert.com, and in this video I'm going to share with you what I know about valerian as a nootropic, what it is, why we use it, the science behind it, dosage and side effects. Valerian is an herb native to Europe and Northern Asia and is now grown in England, Holland and the USA for nootropic supplement manufacturers. Valeriana officinalis belongs to the Valerianaceae family of plants which includes as many as 250 different types and many are referred to as valerian and I've got a list of a few of them over on the original transcript for this video on nootropicsexpert.com but here we're investigating the nootropic benefits of the most widely used valerian supplement in the West Valeriana officinalis the medicinal part of the plant used in nootropic supplements is the root or rhizome. The sedative effects of a valerian were first mentioned by Hippocrates several thousand years ago and have since been confirmed in, in clinical trials by modern medicine. Valerian got its, likely got its name from the Latin word valer, meaning to be healthy or strong. The Greek physician Galen used valerian for treating epilepsy and insomnia. Its modern usage likely got its start in 1567 by Italian nobleman Fabian Colonna, who suffered from epilepsy. He found Galen's reference and claimed it completely restored his health. Valeriana officinalis contains over 150 compounds, but those identified of clinical importance are names that I can't really pronounce, and I've got a list of them over on Nootropics Expert in the original transcript of this video. Valerian also contains the amino acids arginine, GABA, tyrosine, and glutamine. Valerian boosts brain health and function in several ways, but two in particular stand out. First, valerian improves sleep. Valerian is the most commonly used herbal nootropic to induce sleep in the USA and Europe. Research continues to establish the, uh, accurately why this supplement works to help sleep. But so far, science has determined that the compounds valinaric acid and boronol acetate found in valerian account for its sleep-inducing qualities. These compounds inhibit the breakdown of GABA in the brain, resulting in sedation. And the aqueous extracts, or water-based extracts of valerian roots, contain significant amounts of GABA, which could directly cause sedation. Researchers at the University of California in San Francisco did a systematic review of all the sleep using valerian studies that they could find to find out if valerian really did improve sleep like everyone said it did. The team found 16 randomized controlled trials totaling 1,093 patients that satisfied their criteria. Doses ranged from 225 milligrams to 1215 milligrams of valerian per day. Only two studies stated that the herb was standardized to a specific amount of valeranic acid. But the evidence overall is clear. Valerian is a more attractive option to other sleep agents because of the lack of a hangover effect the next day. And overall, patients go to sleep faster and had better quality sleep. And the second way, valerian reduces stress. A natural alternative to benzodiazepines, valerian helps reduce anxiety and helps you cope with stress. GABA is the primary inhibitory neurotransmitter known to counterbalance the excitatory neurotransmitter, glutamate. And the research shows that often those suffering from anxiety disorders are dealing with a dysfunctional GABA system. Of all the studies demonstrating valerian's ability to help control anxiety and stress is best known in the following study. One of the most stressful and painful procedures in female medicine is a procedure called HSG. This procedure evaluates the uterine cavity in fallopian tubes and is typically performed on infertile women. In this study, 64 infertile women undergoing HSG were given a single dose of 1,500 milligrams of valeric capsules 90 minutes before starting the procedure. Valerinic acid is one of the active compounds found in valerian. 
anxiety severity was measured before and then again 90 minutes after the procedure. The researchers concluded that valerianic acid in valerian significantly reduces anxiety in, win in women undergoing the HSG procedure. Valerian extract helps relieve anxiety. The valeranic acid in valerenol in valerian helps bind to GABA-A receptors, which provides its an anxiolytic effect, like the prescription drugs Xanax and Valium, but without the side effects associated with these pharmaceuticals. Studies show that valeranic acid also modulates serotonin and norepinephrine in the hippocampus and amygdala regions of your brain, and thus providing an anti-anxiety effect. Now, valerian helps reduce the time it takes you to fall asleep and provides a better night's sleep. One Swedish study showed valerian provided perfect sleep for 49% of the people in the study and for 89% reported improved sleep while using valerian. Valerian seems to cause sedation by increasing GABA levels in your brain. Valerian provides GABA as one of, the natural, one of its natural compounds. It prevents the reuptake of GABA in neurons, and it inhibits the enzyme that naturally degrades GABA in your brain. Valerian helps ease menstrual cramps in women, which naturally provides an anti-anxiety effect. Valerian helps reduce hyperactivity in those dealing with ADHD. Valerian reduces symptom severity in those with restless leg syndrome and improves sleep quality. Valerian extract has been used for years in Iran to treat epilepsy. One study in rats showed that valerian, an aqueous extract or water extract, provides this anticonvulsic effect by acting on adenosine receptors. Now note, however, that petroleum ether-based extract of valerian did not provide this benefit in epilepsy. And valerian helps relieve the symptoms of OCD. The effects of supplementing with valerian can help tame anxiety and help you sleep. Valerian for sleep doesn't act like prescription sleeping aids, which make you feel like you can't stay awake. Instead, valerian before bed helps your body and brain relax and allows you to drift off to sleep naturally. Now, some report experiencing vivid dreams when using valerian extract before bed. Neurohackers report that valerian extract is better than Valium or Xanax for combating stress without the side effects. And if you're dealing with ADHD, you may find that adding valerian to your stack will help calm you and help turn off your mind enough so that you can get some rest. Neurohackers report that valerian helps tame the symptoms of restless leg syndrome. A few say it even helps calm the symptoms of Parkinson's. Some say using valerian helps eliminate migraines. And low-dose valerian may help alleviate social anxiety for some people. Now, we have plenty more research when it comes to valerian and valerian officinalis used as a nootropic over in the original transcript for this video on nootropics expert. I've got a detailed study on valerian for sleep. I've got another study for valerian helping ADHD. I've got another study on valerian for OCD. And I've got another study on valerian for stress reduction. So if you want to see details of the studies, click on the link below this video and go to the original transcript. Recommended valerian dosage for stress reduction is 200 to 600 milligrams of valerian extract, which is an aqueous extract standardized to 0.8% valeranic or valanic acid or valerian tea, 1.5 to 3 grams of valerian root steeped in boiling water, and for insomnia, 300 to 900 milligrams of valerian extract, that's aqueous extract, uh, 60 to 90 minutes before bed, or valerian tea, 1.5 to 3 grams of valerian root steeped in 150 milligrams of boiling water taken 60 to 90 minutes before bed. And another one is using uh, valerian with lemon balm.
120 milligrams of valerian extract with 80 milligrams of lemon balm extract 60 to 90 minutes before bed. Now studies show that it may take a week or two of continuous daily usage before you'll experience the full effects of using valerian. Higher dosages of valerian extract should be taken in smaller amounts two to three times a day. For example, 600 milligrams of valerian daily would be three doses of 200 milligrams each. Valerian is well tolerated and safe for most people, but side effects can occur and include headaches, dry mouth, excitability, uneasiness, heart palpitations, stomach upset, and even insomnia in some people. Although it's rare, some report feelings of sluggishness in the morning. A few have reported vivid dreams when using valerian, so if you are prone to nightmares, valerian may cause you to dream more and have more nightmares. Valerian root smells particularly nasty and is offensive to most people. If you can't stand the smell, make sure you get the supplement in capsule form. Valerian can interact with and should not be used while on prescription antidepressants and benzodiazepines. The dried root or rhizome of Valerian officinalis is primarily used for its nootropic benefits. Valerian root is available in capsules, tablets, liquid extracts, and is a tea. Valerian officinalis extract is available in capsules, tablets, and powder form. The pharmacopoeia name for valerian root is valeriani radix. Research shows that there can be considerable differences in valerian content, including essential oil, valeranic acid, and derivatives in valipotriates, depending on where the valerian is grown and when it's harvested. Adulteration of valerian supplements is a problem worldwide, with unscrupulous manufacturers substituting other species of plants, including from valerian species that are not officinalis. So check the label and check the supplement maker's website to confirm their testing capabilities and what they actually do. So just make sure that you choose a trustworthy manufacturer who clearly tests their product and tests every single batch that leaves their plant. So that's my report on valerian. If you want to see links to the studies I talked about, go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for valerian or click on the link below this video. There you'll find a full transcript of this video and you'll find dozens of articles on all the well-known nootropics on Nootropics Expert. If you have any questions or you want to share your experience using valerian, use the comment section at the bottom of the post over on nootropicsexpert.com. I respond to comments and questions at Nootropics Expert usually the same day. And if you want to see more videos on all the best nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll be putting up new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.